Hey folks, welcome back to Build It With Smith. I'm your host Smith and uh, today we're going to kind of be continuing along the journey that we were on for our last video and uh, try to look at this area here. Actually, no, wait, let me show you guys something. So you remember the last video uh, I had this particular area here? Well, I decided to do a little revamping to it. So it's nighttime, you can't really tell a whole lot, but uh, it'll look better in the daytime. This is it now, so I incorporated some landscape items here to get a little nature flowing behind these buildings. And I put a man-made um, lake in for slots of those. So you still get the water and then you get the old water mill and uh, some other water effects here. And, a, a big pine forest and a campsite there so if you're wondering where I got those items from well maybe you weren't playing the game about a year ago when they released these landscape items um, actually I think they're still available I don't think those were a special item so I guess you can buy those anyway um, what I was doing in the last video is I was paying close attention to this particular area here this is like where I put my traditional residential uh, mansions. Traditional, because I call these the contemporary ones. Now, like I said, oh, that's the Smith Lofts again. Uh, like I said, it's not like, it's just my name that I'm giving these things or whatever. So anyway, um, a funny thing happened last time. Uh, we got two buildings started and my whole thing was I didn't want to have the same all four the same type of uh, buildings so I had um, uh, gathered a bunch of stuff and upgraded and still came up with the same exact buildings except for the colors were a little different but it was this baby right here right next to it I had the same building you can go back to the last video and watch but today what we're trying to do is and after uh, uh, lots of lots of prep work as you can see I have uh, the commercial buildings uh, producing a lot of stuff so I'm hoping to get a nice um, spread of items here uh, so without any further anything let's go ahead and see what we can upgrade all right so if we collect three plastics and the lawnmower and I think some of these hopefully I have enough of everything and now that I'm looking at it I might want to go ahead and put some more plastic on so that takes like nine minutes alright so we should have enough to do this upgrade now oh one other thing I want to make sure that this upgrades to a luxurious home so it looks like it's going to and let's go ahead and do the upgrade and while we're waiting on that it shouldn't take very long but let's look at what else is needed so I need two breads and one shovel seven metals that one might take a little longer let's see what do we got here all right so this is different this is not like the others so that's good uh, now between this one here and I have another couple of plots that one there and this one here uh, we should get something useful so let's see let me just go ahead and collect everything I got going on here and what do we need ice cream hmm. How long does that take to make? Three hours? Well, what else can we do? Let's see. Um, how about the bread? How is that coming? Maybe I can bake the bread here. And it's just gonna take 54 minutes. And I will put a super speed cheetah deal there. All right, so uh, you guys want to explore this area now that it's daytime. It looks very nice. And so behind these buildings here, you got a nice little man-made lake. And as you're driving across the road here, 
uh, you got some nature. And see, I kind of, I don't, I kind of make this try to look natural, you know, like I don't just have the bears out roaming around. They've got this hill here where they, they're uh, blocked in, so to speak. Uh, only people that got to worry about that is whoever lives in this old water mill, because it looks like they are looking for ways to get over there. And then, if you're into hunting, you can do that, and everything around this little man-made lake. Do some camping. So, that's what I got going on in here. I kind of shuffle some things around back in our Omega Secret Government Project uh, place here. Uh, it's just kind of move some things around. It's not really ready. It looks like I have a blank space here. How did that happen? I wonder if I should put like a park there. It would probably be better to put a building. Now this is a neat uh, building actually. Why is that one facing that way? I need to try to see about replacing... Oh, is this the same building? That is a neat building. I like this one. Alright, so uh, what are we doing here? I think we are waiting on... Obviously, it's not going to be ready yet, but the clock is moving very quickly. And what else did they say? They needed ice cream. So can I make that ice cream? Let's see. They needed two sugars. And what all is required? Should be okay to go ahead and also start making this. Uh, I call it ice cream. Guys, it's frozen yogurt. Uh, I need seven metals here. So let's get those started. I spent quite a bit of time in the uh, in the Global HQ to get some of these items. There. And let's just see if, just for kicks, if we can find some frozen yogurt. Oh, well, I can always grab one of these because I am trying to upgrade my Tokyo Town. Oh, and I need this. This is going to be good, guys. All right, so that was the last piece that I needed to expand my beach here. Now, we've got more beach area. And uh, I've actually extended quite a bit out. So I've got plans for this area here, probably in an upcoming episode. You guys, make sure you're checked in there to that. See who's playing golf today. Somebody right there. All right, so um, I'm going to have to rearrange this, actually. A lot of nice buildings. They're all just mashed together and kind of pointless. So we'll probably take some time to do that. Uh, maybe I'll do that now. I don't know. Uh, let's just see how long we have to wait on this. Because if I can get... I'm pretty sure that this... That this uh this one right here is going to be different than the others i just feel like it is just in case it isn't we always have uh that one also so can i upgrade this one let's see i need a table and maybe i can start those things so i can have a new building uh table furniture store and i got just enough what else was needed there. I forgot already. Uh, a tree. Uh, one more seed. Alright. So, we'll just start those things up. That's another uh, cheetah token in there. And the sun seems like it's kind of going down. This would be a good time to visit the beach. Now, uh, let's just... I bet you, yeah, this adds 52,000. So let's see if we can aim a little higher with uh, with our population boost that we're getting from the beach. There's a lot of other items that I want to grab from the beach also, as a matter of fact. But we'll get to that uh, some other time. I got a lot of beach items, and uh, some of them aren't doing very well with the population boost like right there just 15 so we can do without that we really need to see what we can put on there all right so i think let's oh one bread is ready 
Let's go to the beach and let's find our highest, uh, what gets the most population boost. Let's see, we got 20%. It's not a whole lot. 20%, 30%. 20, 30, 15. Oh, why didn't I get that? Oh, I need a need a, to do those Omega homes, which I'm heading. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. 25, uh, 15. Where's 50 at? 30, 30. Hmm. All right. Well, this one seems to have the most bang for the buck. So. Let's see, where should we put that? Right there, it'll be at 16. Oh, so this is like the highest point for that, right there. Let's make sure, all right, so we're gonna drop that right here. It's going to get a pretty large population boost. That's a luxury mall. It looks like a good enough place to put it. And here we have another one. Let's see, that's gonna be 8,000 in addition. Alright, if I smash those close together. There for a second, it looked like I was getting 29. Oh, that's if they were able to be stacked on each other, I guess. Right, let's just make sure we're getting the most bang for the buck. Where's that 16 at again? Get us back to 16. scoot this over where were we were back to 16 to okay and this is now at 11,000 all right so this looks like the best place for those two we're getting 27,000 right there and I think this will be a oops this will be a good time to bring in the this little surfer beach or Something just small to go in between. Put that right there. And scoot this over again. It looks like exactly the same. Right there. I wonder if I should scoot something else in here. What else do they have that I can put in? The lifeguard tower. That's 20. So maybe we put the lifeguard tower in. Oh, is that the same length? Okay. So we'll just put that right there. What about this one? Well, how much is a relaxing beach? Maybe we should buy something different. A relaxing beach. I just wonder is... Are they, okay, so it looks like... Looks like it might be better to put... What can we put in between there? How about that mall? That mall is too big. What else do we have? that might fit in that, ooh, might fit in that space. Uh, it would look weird to put that there. How about a sailor pier? That would actually work, but is that weird too? Uh, how about this one? Oops. Let's see, what would make the most sense? I don't know, you got we got the yacht club. How big is that? That one's too big. We got the waterfront. That one would fit right in between. Um, is that? These things got to balance out. How about the boathouse? Boathouse. You got a hotel. You got a, a resort, and then a boathouse. Trying to see, but that makes sense in real life. Ocean villa. How about the ocean villa right there? Uh, let's see, what else is there? The sailing club. Do I not have the sailing club? Why didn't I get the sailing club? Well, let's purchase the sailing club, actually. And what else do we have? Paradise Island, that one was too big. The luxury, whatever that was. All right, let's, uh, let's get the sailing club going. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hit, didn't uh, purchase it actually. 
Wow, uh, having difficulty. You know what I really want? I want this for 50 keys. Hmm. Now, this proposal, I mean, this is huge. Wonder for 50 keys. Or I can just buy, what I was going to say is I want this Beach Delta, but that costs like 120 uh, platinum keys. I don't currently have that much. All right, we got the Sailor's Club here, which I was going to buy. But like I'm four keys away. How can I get four keys? You know what I can do, guys? What should I do? This isn't a live stream, so I can't really uh, take a poll, but... I'm just gonna make the executive decision. What looks better here? You got this sailing club there. I don't think that really screams luxury to me. Uh, let's do, because we're aiming for population boost here. Where'd it go? The luxury boat marina. So what we gotta do here in this episode is earn four more keys. What's going to be the easiest way to do that? We're skipping all around guys. We're going to come back around to that other stuff here in a second. I think the best thing to do is to do a couple of disasters and let's see. I guess we'll do the meteor, meteor strike. I don't really want to repair six, although it says it's easy. How easy do y'all think it's gonna be? Should I do the medium or should I do this one? Repair four or repair six? Hmm. Let's do the meteor strike. Looks like I have a lot of items here. So we're still gonna need one more key even after this. That. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep looking. Destruction. Destruction. Yikes. My precious buildings. So, let's see. Let's do some repairing. Oh, you know what? I hope we're not using something that we were planning on using for this upgrade. Let me hurry up and get this upgrade going, guys, before we <laughs> spend something we don't want to. All right. Oh. Well, looks like I still need a couple of other items. All right. I'm going to speed this one up. And what else? There's something else I needed. Oh yeah, just the metal. Matter of fact. Alright, so. How can we get these other keys? So we need a nail and two nails, which I should be able to do just based off of put in there get this one a turtle multiplier and this one oh, or metal did I put that in there All right, 26 seconds on that and what about this one a watch and some concrete cement actually I forgot that quickly. What else did I need? Oh, now I gotta wait on this. This is dragging out. This is really dragging out. I don't want you guys to just, you know, be in the video all day waiting on this stuff. What else are we waiting on?
Oh, a watch. A watch. Alright, we need glass and plastic. Pretty good to have these things readily available. There's that. And the cement. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's take a look at... Sometimes you can find... Ah! Just what we're looking for. I usually pick these up because animal feed takes like six or seven hours to make and so it really sucks when you don't have any. All right. Okay, so 40 minutes on that one. I may have to gym that one. I should have used, I said gym. I may have to cash it out. Uh, all right. Or what was this other, th okay. What was this other one here? We don't have an upgrade on that one anymore? Why not? What happened? I thought we had an upgrade on this one. Maybe not. Hmm. That's interesting. I could have sworn we did. Uh, all right. Okay, so back to what we were doing here. So we're going to do away with these. And we'll just move on to something else. Now, we were going to buy that luxury, um, what was it? Luxury marina or something. But we still need something to fit in between those two buildings. And I think that the boat house would actually fit show with the ocean villa i think we we're going to go with that so if we move all these so let's see uh actually as we're looking at this this looks like the best spot for for this so with that being said, I hate the way that they just have a mine of their own and shift all over the place. It's kind of annoying. All right. So that's going to go right there. Now let's see if we can find one to fit right in between here. Now we got that old beachfront mall, but that's kind of like old. So that's going to go like somewhere else. Uh, what we can put here, let's get one of those bigger things. A luxury Beach Hotel. Isn't that already? Oh, I guess it's not. All right, we got that. We got the sailing pier. Maybe, well, no, that doesn't. I don't think that's going to look right in between here. It may get us a lot of, uh, didn't even get a lot of uh, population boost. All right, well, the luxury Beach Hotel, that's not even large enough actually um paradise island how would that look don't really get a big population boost why is that oh that's because there's not a lot of buildings over there see this is what's going on guys so we're trying to see how to affect the most buildings there's this right here and see some of them don't always go all the way to the back so we're missing out on a lot right there uh, so here's a yacht club that might not look too bad I don't think let's see That looks kind of nice. What do y'all think? I think it looks kind of nice. All right, what else do we have here that we could fit in? The waterfront wharf. Yeah, that one's nice. I like that one. 
Where did that one go? You get 3,000 right there, or... Yeah, I think you probably get the most out of right here. So how does this whole area look now? It looks pretty nice, actually. I like it. And what else? There's a couple of other items in there that still don't have a home. And these are the items that I got from the Contest of Mayors. If you guys are wondering, came from the Contest of Mayors. Oh, I just shifted everything on accident. That is ultra annoying. So now I gotta shift everything back. All right, so there is actually a space for, I guess we'll put a lifeguard tower there, right here, for that. And so we've got a boathouse and an ocean villa there. Those kind of flow nicely together. And I believe I have a couple of other items still locked. Need to, three of them. So we got Paradise Island. We got the Luxury Beach Hotel. I think that's gonna go right here. And we'll put that right there. Luxury Beach Hotel right there. I think that fits in. And then over here by some of these uh, higher end houses, I think that is where we're gonna put the uh, Paradise Island. Right there. We're not gonna get a huge population boost from it. Let's see, even smaller, let's see. Yeah, so that one's okay. Uh, so I'm trying to see what would look better. Put it right here. Yeah, I guess that doesn't look too bad. And we even still have room for this if we want. Put this somewhere. That doesn't look too bad. Right, and there's that. So, uh, trying to see if I should switch these two here. I do actually get a little bit more population that way. So, here we are at 58, and there's still a couple of items that I can add, like the Sailorman's Pier. And uh, of course, a lighthouse right there at the end. And we'll just fill this other, is that everything? Let's see, make sure nothing is left unturned. Yeah, so we'll just slide a couple of surfer beaches in here and we'll be done with it. And so we're closer to 60,000 now on that. Let's see, it's a little weird having this big old beach thing. Let's see what happens if we slide this over. Do we lose? Oh, we actually gain more, so no, we'll just do it that way. All right, so let's take a look at the new and improved beach area. Everything flows pretty well, I think. Some of the stuff is real close together, but you know, that's kind of like the effect of it sometimes. I think it looks good. And we're getting almost 60,000 uh, population boosted out of there. Now, back to this whole thing. I guess our whole point was to get um, that luxury pier, which <laughs> is not really a big deal anymore now that it seems like a stuffed my uh, beach to capacity um, maybe I'll make a decision about whether I want to uh, continue on 
with uh, you know trying to get that or something else but let's go ahead and just get these other oh right, we'll have to wait 60 more seconds here get some more metal and so I'll probably just upgrade these to I mean uh, repair these disasters off camera and then maybe I'll grind for keys a little bit because uh, that's a pretty nice um, that's a pretty nice addition maybe that will go like right here in this slot that that luxury uh, beach what's the name of it luxury boat marina Yep, so that would kick us all the way to 60,000, and I'll try to fill this with uh, a lot of uh, stuff there so that can get high up in population. Oh, and cool, they got boats going back and forth to there. That's going to be pretty nice. Um, so, now wait a minute. It appears. Oh, okay. Thought it just messed up my population there, but it didn't. All right, so we should be ready to rock and roll here with this last upgrade, which will complete this small spot in town. Let's see what we come up with. Gee, I hope that... Okay. Oh. That. Let's collect all of these. What do we got? Uh, all right. So we finally got four entirely different houses. And the whole thing that's ironic about this is eventually I am going to have to upgrade those, and then it's not going to matter. But well, at least you guys were on for the ride. So uh, that is it. The town is sleeping now. Let's just check and see what I got today in my bonus chest. Samoans. All Samoans. So that's cool. And we'll just wait on these other items to finish repairing. And, uh, well, I mean, you know, next time you guys will see what's become of that. So. Uh, this has been another episode of Build It With Smith, and you're taking a tour of my city on a Tuesday. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video, and uh, tune in for more action from SimCity Building.